Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's the Turtle Girl, and today we are doing a Meet All My Pets video. So, I've kind of been putting off this video for a little bit because my pet um, collection is constantly changing and expanding and growing, and I was kind of putting it off because I wasn't sure um, what was going to change, but I decided because you guys kept requesting it, I guess I'll just do it. And, um, I mean, you can even see here, we've already got some projects that might be getting started. We've got a 15 gallon tank here, 20 long, that's probably gonna be for a leopard gecko, and a bin cage from my late Russian dwarf hamster. Um, and so I don't know how much, um, all these things are gonna be changing, so I might just be doing a video like this, I don't know, once a year or something. But anyways, let's get on to the actual video and have a look at all my animals. Yeah, okay, let's do that. So here we have my 29 gallon tank, and here we have Poku, the Diamondback Terrapin. Um, I've only had him for, I wanna say, six months, um, since May. And uh, he is about a year old. Yes, about a year old. Um, I got him from a breeder who was on Instagram, Diamonds Back, Diamondbacks for Life. And he's a Northern Diamondback Terrapin. And I mean, he's just super pretty. I have a tour of his tank. Um, if you click the I button, you can check that out. And then also we have the Convict Cichlids. Now, I don't really... Um, name my fish because it'd be kind of hard to keep track. I think there's like seven convicts in here and if I tried to name them I don't think I could keep them straight so I don't name most of my fish. So yeah that's Hoku, the northern diamondback terrapin and this is Hoku is my um, second turtle. Um, there's also Nemo downstairs who you will get to meet in just a second. All right in the next tank here we have Prince the veil tail betta. And unfortunately, um, he has been kind of tail biting, but I mean, it's starting to look better. I've been treating him with a little bit of aquarium salt and just keeping an eye on my waters and changing that. Um, so I think he's looking better from his um, fin rot. And um, if you have any suggestions on how to help with that though, I would appreciate that. Just leave those in the comments below. I've had this tank set up for six months and this fish, I have had him for about just as long. And there's also the Nerite snail in here. I'm not sure where he is, I think he's, there he is. There's the Nerite snail, that's Okapi, the Nerite snail. And this tank is doing pretty good other than the fin rot, but he is recovering from that, so that's a good thing. And yeah, and this is just a regular real tail betta from Petco, but his colors are really, really nice. Like the blues and oranges look really good on this guy. So yeah, that is Prince the betta. And Okapi the narrow snail. And we've also got um, some ram's horns in here somewhere too, but that's Prince. Over here we have the guppy tank with all of the juvenile and baby guppy fry. And this is kind of a feeding tank. Um, occasionally I will take some of the older guppies in here to feed them to the turtle, but I do consider them pets as well because I do like watching the fry and stuff. They're really cute. And then we also have all the Ram's horn snails in here. I'm gonna show you a time lapse because the time lapse of the snails always look really, really cool. We also have uh, what do they call Malaysian trumpet snails in here as well. And this tank has been established for a year and a half ish. I've had guppies in here for about that same amount of time, just using them as feeders. But they might get an upgrade soon. You guys saw that 15 gallon in the beginning. But I think I'm actually gonna make that 15 gallon a community tank, so I might just throw these guys in there as well, but we will see. And these are the guppies. So yeah, let's move on. And in here, you guys haven't seen this tank yet. This is simply a two and a half gallon bow front tank, but I turned it around because I don't really like the bow front. Um, and right now it's just kind of like a snail tank. You can see I'm trying, right now I just actually added this, I put a um, mini sponge filter in here because I found that I actually had one laying around. And so I'm trying to just get some of the bacteria to transfer over from this internal filter. Um, but yeah, really all that's in here is snails. 
And I guess these could also be used to feed that puffer, wink wink. So that might ha be happening soon. And so that is all the tanks that are up here. That's four of them with three of them being nano tanks. And yes, yeah, so let's go see my other animals. Over here we have Nemo, the Eastern Painted Turtle. This was pretty much, uh, Nemo was pretty much the very first turtle that was actually like my pet. And he is an Eastern Painted Turtle. He is actually like 11 years old, but I haven't had him for that long. Um, I've had him for two and a half years now. Um, I adopted him from the Mid-Atlantic Turtle and Tortoise Society. And he's doing really, really well. He loves to bask. You can see him up here in his basking area. And he just likes to chill. And um, what else about him? He's um, adopted. He is 11 years old. I've had him for two years. And yeah, this is like my first ever turtle. And he's kind of can sometimes be really mean and aggressive with other fish and also turtles. Um, whenever I uh, feed the turtles, because I put them, I feed them at the same time, and I feed them in uh, separate containers. Whenever he sees Hoku, he'll just go crazy. So he does not like other turtles. In fact, that's kind of how he got. You can see he has some damage on his shell, and that is from fighting with <laughs> another turtle. So he does not like other turtles, and he also will kill a lot of fish, and he loves to eat snails. And speaking of fish, in here we also have some more convict cichlids. These are the males upstairs, are all the females. And it's kind of dark in here, sorry. But we have convicts in here. There's like one big male, and that guy's really aggressive. You can see him chasing the other two. And yeah, I'm hoping to get some plants in here. This is all the brown algae, ugh. But yeah, I mean, there's not much about these fish. Haven't had them too long. And then you can see the poor, poor um, victims. These were Malaysian trumpet snails I put in here, and the fish ate them. So isn't that nice? Yeah, vicious people. This is Rocky, our three-year-old miniature schnauzer. He is the family pet, and we haven't actually had him that long. Um, we actually adopted him, and the story's kind of funny. We used to have another miniature schnauzer about five years ago. Um, well, more than that, but I mean, five years ago he um, actually passed away, sadly. And um, just recently we decided we were ready for another dog. And so he began looking, and this guy was up for adoption, and his name was Rocky, too, and also a miniature schnauzer. So we were like, oh, his name is Rocky, he's a miniature schnauzer, let's go meet him. And it turned out he was like a perfect match. And he's super sweet. He loves to cuddle. And yeah, we love Rocky. He's already a part of the family. This is our brother. <laughs> and yeah, so thank you guys so much for watching. And like I said, um, I'll probably be doing update videos. Because um, like I said in the beginning, my, um, all of my animals are constantly changing and I'm constantly getting new ones, and unfortunately life happens and some of them do pass away. Um, luckily the turtles are pretty long lived, so it's not something I'm super worried about. But yeah, if you have any suggestions for videos you'd like me to do next, be sure to leave those in the comments, I really appreciate those. They really help with finding out what types of videos that you'd like to see next. And help you coming up with video di video ideas. So be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you next week with a Turtle 101 video. So be sure to stick around for that. And yeah, have a great day.